It's a thrilling intellectual challenge to think what makes people intelligent and can we make machine intelligent? This is a question that is absolutely fascinating. You know, if we kind of, part of what science is, is to understand the universe, right? We want to understand the universe. In this case, we want to understand what is intelligence. And I look at it from the perspective, can this be automated? What can be automated? So the thing that drives very much in computer science is what can be mechanized? What can be automated? Maybe with, with age come more kind of uh, wisdom that I spend much more time. I think, yes, but what does it mean for society? And now I feel that um, a sense of personal responsibility and partly because technology becomes so central in our lives. And so as, as a professor of computer science, as a, as a member of the, of the tech community, I'm trying to kind of educate both the public at large, but also my own, my own technical community we have to step forward, we have to assume responsibility. And it's not, I don't think that we will have the solution. These are co become complex societal questions. You know, we will not have the, the, the solution to the future of work will not be determined by, by computer scientists, but we have to be part of the conversation. And what we, partly we can contribute is a deeper understanding of the technology, understanding of where it's going, how fast it is going. So we cannot, we must be engaged with with humanists, with social scientists, with public policy. And this I think is a new thing. Again, if you just until a few years ago we just said, just leave us alone, let us, as you say, let us work on our computers, we will create stuff, other people will commercialize it, and other people will think about what does it mean. And now I think we need a more holistic conversation.